This is our last video um, for Kramer's Rule. And in this video, I just want to cover our special cases that we run into when we're solving systems of equations. For a 2 by 2 system, um, our special cases are when our lines don't intersect at all, they are parallel, or when the two equations represent the same line and we have an infinite number of solutions. For our 3 by 3 matrix, um, we have special cases where our planes don't intersect all in a single point, um, or our planes um, are all the same. And we have an infinite number of solutions there as well. So let me discuss both of those um, and how they apply to Kramer's rule. So first, we know that when we're calculate, calculating the value for x, we need to calculate dx over d. For y, we have to find dy over d and z, dz over d. Well, we know that we're not allowed to divide by 0. So our determinant is not allowed to equal 0 for us to be able to get answers for x, y, and z. But occasionally, we have a determinant that equals 0, the determinant of our coefficient ma matrix. If it equals 0, we're going to have a special case. So we have a special case, special cases. We know that we have a special case um, if D, the determinant of our coefficient matrix, equals 0. So if D equals 0, we have two choices that we need to, to check. We need to check whether we have a no solution case or we have an infinite number of solutions. So if we have no solution to a system, we will find that d equals 0. I should say special cases because we have two. Um, we will find out that d equals 0 for any special case. So I'll even erase this if. So d equals 0 for a no solution case. dx or dy or dz is non-zero. Some of them may be zero, but we have to have at least one that's non-zero. This is a no solution case. No solution. All right, for an infinite number of solutions, dx dy and dz, if we're working in three dimensions, all equal zero. This is an infinite number of solutions. And you should know how to represent that. Right? An infinite number of solutions is represented by an ordered pair or an ordered triplet, depending on what kind of system you're working with, and you just pick one of the equations to put um, inside with it. Okay, so let's just review. Let's, um, let's come up with some cases and test to see what kind of a case we have. I'm just going to give you val um, values for d, dx, and dy, and we'll determine what kind of a case we have. So let's say we calculated for a particular system that d equals 0, dx equals 0, dy equals 0, and dz equals 0. And then let's do a case where d equals 1, dx equals 0, dy equals 0, dz equals 0. And then we'll try another case. We'll say d equals 0, dx equals 0, dy equals 0, and dz equals negative 7. Now let's determine what kind of a case we have. Well, in this first case, we have d equals 0. Because d equals 0, we have one of our special cases, and now we just need to determine if it's a no solution case or an infinite number of solutions case. So for a no solution case, 
dx or dy or dz is non-zero. One of them has to not be zero. In this case, dx, dy, and dz, they are all zero, so we can't have the no solution case. We have an infinite number of solutions. So here we have an infinite number of solutions. Let's try case number two down here. We have d equals one. Okay, for us to have a special case, d must be zero. So this isn't a special case. My planes all intersect in one point. So I, if, as long as d is not zero, I can set up my dx over d. So dx over d, which is zero over one equals zero. y is gonna be dy over d, which is gonna be zero. And z is gonna be dz over d, which is zero as well. So it's okay for my variables to all equal zero. I would have a solution here of zero comma zero comma zero. They intersect at the origin of all three coordinate planes. And lastly, this last case over here, I check out my D, and D is zero in this case. And as I go down the list, DX is zero, DY is zero, but then I come across DZ and it is non-zero. Because D is zero and DZ is non-zero, this case is a no solution case. And those are the special cases that we have for Kramer's rule.